Hey everybody, I'm Sean. And I'm Kieran. Welcome to another episode of Angling Spiders. Welcome back everybody. A little bit of a different episode today. Um, it's hard to believe that we've been at this for just over a year now. Um, going on to 14 months and it's been great. We've learned a lot ourselves and we've caught a lot of fish. But to be honest, uh, because we're mainly pike fishermen, at this point we thought maybe we would have caught uh, a little bit of a bigger one. But uh, we're going to keep trying, don't worry. And so that leads us to today's episode. Yeah, so that got us thinking a little bit about uh, the world records and some of the biggest northern pike ever caught. So we put together this video with a couple of northern pike facts and then later on we're going to move on to the records. So let's get into it. Okay everyone, today we are talking of course about northern pike or as it's scientifically known, Aesox lucius. Uh, it's a freshwater predatory fish found throughout North America, Europe and northern Asia. They're uh, pretty much typically dark green along the top surface and then olive green along the sides with uh, a belly that typically shifts from yellow to white. Uh, there's a lot of variation in their color pattern but typically they're going to have some form of stripes or dots along the side and this helps to provide camouflage against uh, other, for other fish in the weeds. Um, so pike are predators uh, using rapid bursts of speed to ambush their prey. Um, while they usually eat fish, they've been known to eat anything that can fit in their mouth. Uh, frogs, ducks, muskrats, and even reports of some small dogs and cats. Um, pike are also commonly cannibalistic, uh, and they'll regularly eat smaller pike. So because of that, there's a lot of versatility in the types of lures that you can use to catch pike. Um, of course, some of our favorites are Len Thompson lures. Um, our, one of our new favorites is the Fire Five of Diamonds. Uh, there's a lot of different styles and colors of spoons that you can use to catch northern pike. Of course for us we also have our own angling spiders lure. Um, the other thing that, about uh, lures is that you can also use multiple sizes and so uh, just to show you a comparison um, here's our lure in a Len Thompson number zero, the Fire Five of Diamonds in a number two and this white and orange one in a number four. So, um, and not the size of the spoon isn't always directly related to the size of the fish. We have caught some pretty tiny pike on a number four lure. So um, some great variety there, but it's not the only type of lure that'll catch pike. Yeah, aside from the spoons, um, they also bite soft baits. Um, here we have a, a Mako soft bait. This is one of our favorites actually. It's a perch colored soft bait. It works pretty well. And then since we mentioned that they do eat their own kind, you can also use something like this, which is just a northern pike soft bait. Uh, so yeah, those work pretty well when you're fishing for northern pike. Okay, so we're going to move on, but before we get to the world records, we want to talk a little bit about some of the pike that we caught in the last year and looking at some of our biggest ones. As you guys know, if you've been watching our videos, we don't always take the weight of the fish, but we try to measure them. And so uh, let's show you some of the biggest pike that we've caught in the last year and how we estimate how much we think they weigh. As you might expect, there's been a lot of scientific research conducted on pike and generally when scientists do studies on animals they record a variety of different metrics. These measurements have shown that as northern pike grow longer they increase in weight and the relationship between their length and weight does not always stay consistent. This has allowed scientists to create a formula to estimate pike weight to size ratios based on um, these metrics. And it can be shown in the following formula. For northern pike, B equals 3.096 and C equals 0 0.000180. And these are constants for northern pike. So if you know the length of the fish and you know the two constants, you can then estimate the weight of the fish. Calculated out, this allows for the creation of weight charts like the one we have here that we found on the In Fisherman website. So using this, let's look at a couple of the fish that we caught in the last year and compare it to these charts. So this first one is the best northern pike that I've caught so far in any of our episodes and it was the one that I caught using a pen rod at Eagle Lake. It was a nice fish, particularly on pen rod, but unfortunately this was before we had fish rulers on our paddles and so I don't have an exact measurement. However, I can estimate it based on the size of the pen rod that we use 
when I lifted the fish out of the water for comparison. Based on the length of the rod, I can guess that the overall length of the fish was between 80 to 85 centimeters or 31.5 to 33.5 inches. And using the weight chart, that would make this pike somewhere around 9 pounds. So my best fish um, so far was actually a pike I caught recently at Crawling Valley. Um, coming in at over 70 centimeters or 27 and a half inches. This fish was likely just over 5 pounds. Um, that being said, one challenge with the calculator is that it doesn't account for girth. Um, I caught two pike that day that were nearly identical in length. Um, but this one was definitely thicker and that difference can easily change the weight by up to a pound so if I'm lucky this one was probably closer to six pounds. So those are our best fish so far on our episodes of Angling Spiders. Um, it just so happens that that pike that Kieran caught is also his personal best pike so far um, of all time. Yep. If you want to see my best pike you can go back to our episodes on Frenchman River where I talk about uh, a day I had fishing with my grandfather and my father where I caught my personal best pike. And with that we're going to move on to the records for uh, Alberta, Canada and the world. Yeah, so let's talk about the largest pike on record in Alberta. Um, unfortunately, there's no picture for this one, but we'll put a picture up from the Alberta Fishing Guide website uh, that will include an up-to-date list of all fishing records for the province as maintained by the Alberta Fish and Game Association. As you can see, the largest record pike was caught by David Anderson at Kehoe Lake in 1983, and it weighed 38 pounds. Although the length is not given based on the length to weight chart, uh, this pike would have been roughly 52.5 inches long. Um, so on to the Canadian record. Uh, the Canadian record pike is a little harder to confirm. Um, the largest pike that was both weighed and measured was caught in 2008 by Stan Prokoika of Saskatoon. His pike measuring 55.5 inches long and 47.5 pounds was later released back into Muron Lake. The largest unconfirmed record also comes from the prairies and was caught by a resident from Cedar Lake, Manitoba, a small indigenous community. Um, while no actual measure measurements were taken, based on the picture, uh, we can estimate that the pike um, was up to 70 inches long with a weight of more than 50 pounds. The pike was later eaten, so the photo remains the only evidence of the catch. If the numbers are correct, uh, this would also make it the largest pike caught to date in North America. Those are all very impressive fish and a lot of the information today that we gathered on these records came from the International Game Fish Association or the IGFA. Um, if you want to learn some more about record fish of any species you can check out their website and they maintain a database of all uh, the fish that have records recorded for uh, pretty much anywhere. Um, it's interesting because not only do they have the all tackle world records, but they also have records down to specific line classes, so uh, the, the poundage of the line, and also for different rod types like uh, spin casting and fly rods. So if you're interested, go check it out. So before we go over uh, the current world record, let's go over some line and rod records that are equally as impressive. For example, the world record pike for two pound test line is Rick Townsend's 23 pound 15 ounce northern pike caught on August 10th, 1990 in the Inoko River in Alaska. Rick was guiding two clients and they were fishing from the floats of his float plane. Townsend only had ultralight tackle and it took him almost 20 minutes to land this fish. To date, the largest pike ever caught on a fly rod was caught by Paolo Paccarini from Lake Anon, Italy on June 19th, 2010. Paolo fought the fish for a good 10 minutes and when he landed it he secured a new world record on a fly rod of 36 pounds. Okay, uh, we've covered some pretty impressive fish so far but now let's talk about the biggest. When Lothar Lewis went fishing at Greyfjern Lake in Germany on the morning of October 16th, 1986 his plan was to tar target carp and roach, not northern pike. However, he did have a habit of starting each fishing day with 15 casts with his pike rod, a spinning rod that included 16 pound monofilament line. On just his third cast of the morning, Lewis hooked a monster. Um, Lewis has no net, uh, so he had to hand land it by grabbing the gills, and he was bitten several times in the process. Um, he said he was so excited that he didn't even feel it. In the end, he had secured an all tackle world record of 55 pounds in one ounce. Quite an accomplishment. 
So that's the current world record fish. Very impressive. Um, of course, there are other stories on the internet, if you search it, of fish that might be even bigger. Yeah, so uh, now let's go over a more recent catch that we found on the internet that might actually be a new world record. Caught in Bulgaria by angler Peter Filipov, his weight and measurements put this pike at 55.78 pounds with a length measurement of 55.12 inches long. As of yet, it hasn't been registered, but just from the pictures alone, this fish is clearly a beast. Okay, everybody, that is today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed something a little bit different from us, and uh, maybe you learned something from the review of the pike facts and the world records, and maybe even a new world record. Um, there's a couple of other updates from me. For those of you that are subscribers, if you are interested in getting a fishing logbook page made for a lake that you fish at, let me know in the comments below and I will specifically make one for you for that lake and upload it to our fishing logbook page. And of course you can access the rest of those as well at any time. In addition to that, uh, another update on our 3D printed lure giveaway. I'm happy to say that Brian Q1 Quan got a hold of us and asked us to do something in a pattern that was similar to a shiner. Uh, we looked up a few pictures and this is what we came up with. So we're currently working on completing it and as soon as it's done, we will get that sent out. Uh, that's it for updates from me. What about you? Um, yeah, so a little more info on our current giveaway for an angling spider's lure. Um, we're planning on doing another Bow River Q&A in the future. Uh, so if you have questions for that in the comment section down below, leave a question along with the keyword hashtag giveaway for a chance to win that. Um, if you're already entered in the giveaway and you have another question, feel free to put it down below as well. Fantastic. So that is today's episode. Um, if you like the video, smash that like button, hit subscribe. Until next time, good fishing. You didn't really think that was the end of the episode, right? Uh, of course, we're not going to talk about record pike without talking about the world's smallest pike. Um, and if we're going to go back to those records, who's caught the smallest one so far? Uh, I think that would be me. <laughs> All right. Here's a clip of our smallest pike to date. Got a monster? Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. You're continuing your string of catching giant fish today. Yeah. That is a gooder. You want to let him go? <laughs> there he goes. <laughs>